Hi guys, uh, so today we're going to tie uh, one of the most famous of all salmon flies and this is uh, a willy gun. I'm going to tie it here on a tube. This is um, a copper slip string tube, it's an inch and a half long. Uh, so we're going to try and stick towards the original type of the dress in here. So uh, first things first, black thread because well, all these flies sort of change over time but uh, as far as I know, black was the original. So we're just going to line the shank with our time thread. And I'm going to attach in a, a gold oval rib. I'm using a whitish one now. Uh, you could have used a gold oval or a gold flat on this. So tie this in and then take it down. Right, this is an HMH type tube holder so as you can see we have a, a section of the tube that's going to be blank here and that will accept the uh, the junction tubing. So I'll take it down to there. And come forward a little bit and we'll put on a few wraps of this as a butt or tag. Pull this over on my side, take my tie and thread across, keeping the tension on it. couple of turns forward and then I'll fold it back, nip that down and tie it in and that will then be ready to work as our rib as well as the, the butt. So now I'll take my tying thread, back up the shank the body you want black floss, black silk. So I'm using a black ray on here. I'm taking out a section out. Probably longer than you think it needs to be. But I'm going to catch that across its middle and then level up the two ends. So it's essentially running on a loop here and then that'll run down to my tie end point. A couple of turns to hold it in place. And I'm now wrapping two strands back base. Two strands gives me I think a more level wrap so long as I can keep them side by side and quicker coverage. to the back. Give it a bit of a wiggle. Then travel forwards again. Now, for some reason black I think is the hardest colour of all flosses silks to make look smooth. I don't know why that is but anyway. at the front. Tie that in. Two, three wraps forward, fold it back, a couple of wraps behind and then flip her over and trim that in nice and neat. So uh, you can if you want use some sort of a burnishing tool to just smooth out your floss. 
and then we'll wrap the gold tinsel. Take that up the shank in open turns. Now it's up to yourself. Some people will like more turns, some people less, but generally sort of four, five, six turns is the average. And the last turn. Get a few wraps across it. Tie in. And nick that off. So now I'm going to take uh, tie in wax. So wing time. So a lot of willy guns, like any fly, sort of evolve over time and people change the way they, they tie them. So a lot of times you'll see it saying that it has yellow, orange, red and black. Uh, my understanding is that the original had a yellow, and even for by the red not being in it, uh, the original had yellow, orange and black. Uh, but it was tied in with yellow, then orange, then black. Whereas nowadays, a lot of a lot of times when you see it, uh, people will have mixed the bucktail together, so they'll have mixed the orange and the yellow and even the black together. So we're going to try and tie it sort of closer to the original one here. I'm going to take a bunch of yellow. Now you can put that in a hair stacker if you want. Um, to me it's a little bit unnatural, so what I do is I'd pull out the longest fibres that are sticking out longer than the others and then just realign them by hand. I think that gives you a more sort of natural thing. I'll flick that, holding it by the tip and flick it will get out all the short rubbish. And then we're going to tie this in. So uh, length, again personal preference, some people will have it just beyond sort of to the length of where the hook is and some people will have it maybe half as long again or so as the shank. So I'm going to go for a slightly longer approach. I'll put the bunch up and then I flatten it with my thumb and it starts to splay all around the shank. And then I get a loose wrap on and I'll just hold that under hand pressure and then push the bases of the fibres so that I have a sort of an even coverage all around and then when I'm happy with it I put a bit more tension on it and take a couple of wraps back just use your nails to sort of position them. Right, so over that then was orange. So I'll take my wax again. Trying to end up with a smallish head if we can, but it might stretch out a bit on us. So I'm just going to put on another couple of wraps of my wax thread. And then we'll go for orange. Now again, when you're using a bucktail, I use this bottom half of the bucktail I generally use for pike flies, tends to be quite more like deer hair, splays out a bit and the stuff at this end of it, at, towards the tip, starts to become uh, straighter, finer hair that is more manageable. So same again, hold it by the tips, flick it, that'll get out the real short rubbish and then any real long fibres will pull them out and realign them. And then we take the orange bunch and the same thing, allow it to splay all around, have a look, loose wrap, use our nail. Happy 
happy that we have a fairly even coverage. I'll wrap back onto it. Finally, black bucktail. So the amount of black, as of yourself, some people will tell you this fly a lot uh, brighter, some people a lot darker. Take the black, same thing, short stuff out. Set it aside. Wax up our tie-in thread. And then we'll take the black and put it on. Some people will tie the black a bit shorter as well, so lengthways is... Uh, all these things are variants up to your, your own personal preference. Of loose wraps on, and then we'll same as before. Make sure it's all around. Before tightening it up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my uh, super glue brush. I'm going to run super glue onto my thread so it's all in little beadlets down that you might be able to see a chain in the light there and I'm going to go to the very front of where my head is start wrapping there and wrap backwards and when I'm happy with that what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the head with uh, a blade. So if we take a scalpel blade or a cutthroat razor blade or whatever it is you have to have, but it's going to need to be something fairly sharp. I'll set that on. Use the rotary function of the vase. Just to trim that off. Just neaten off my head. Have a good tight turns just at the back of it. And finish that off. This fly tight, so I'm actually going to use super glue just as the first coat on this head so 
the vein with bucktail because it doesn't compress that it compress a bit but it's I'm always a little bit worried about it pulled out so I do tend to use super glue to finish them off. But that uh, this fly finished once that dries we'll then put on more coats of varnish so you might get uh, depends how the head turns out but clear or black varnish just to finish that off. But uh, that is the original Willy gun on a copper slipstream. Uh, a fly that is, I'm sure, accounted for tens of thousands of salmon down the years. And uh, as per usual, if you like what you see, give us a like, give us a subscribe. All helps keep the thing going. Uh, tell your friends. Uh, and until next time, tight lines. And thanks for watching.